This is this is uh, Lexi Fox. And this is Satchel, lead guitar player for Steel Panther, and he's a bass player. And I tell him what notes to play on the Steel Panther records. And you're watching Noise 11. In the meantime, of course, we're halfway through talking to Steel Panther on Noise 11. Hi, guys. Okay. Oh. No, no, don't pay attention to me. Look in the uh, magical camera. See that? That's the magical one with the red light. <laughs> Is it mad? Will there be a unicorn in it? <laughs> Are a, you, a, it'll be. It'll have a unicorn that farts rainbows. <laughs> Lexi and Satchel. Uh, look, I have to ask the most important question. Since you you have always been the greatest metal of all, metal band of all time, of course. We yes. always have been, but people are just now figuring that out. Why is that? Why are people only getting it now? Well, I tell you why. You've been hiding under a rock, haven't you? We well, didn't have airplane tickets before. That's why. It's the biggest well, reason. That's not the only reason, but I think you know we were talking about it earlier before the cameras on. People are. I think. I think it's there's a lot of stupid people, for mm. one, and it takes longer for stupid people to figure shit out. And there's a lot of people watching this right now that are probably going, um, "Well, I just figured this out. I just figured out about you guys." And you might be stupid. You just might not know it, mm. which I think is probably the case with a lot of stupid people. That's no one's kind of the definition they of stupid, isn't it? it? They, don't, <laughs> they don't know it. Don't know Was it. there a right, Lexi? <laughs> <laughs> What's the next question? I'm not going to ask questions. You don't anymore. need to. Just go for it. We could just fucking riff and oh. have a fucking party right here in this fucking room. Just me, you, and the fucking camera, and Lexi. Last night, I saw a girl. There was, um, we were, we, I went to the zoo and I saw a panda bear. And, um, and I got to feed a giraffe with a real carrot. Wow. Is it, and, and this is a rare thing? This is something you spend a lot of time Where? in Hollywood here. doing? Did it here. No, so that's where he doesn't oh. get to feed giraffes very often at all, right? How many times in your life have you gotten to feed a giraffe? But every time I go to a zoo, yeah, they're not they don't live in our backyards like they do here. <laughs> yeah. I don't have giraffes, and in... it's a different world. Did you ever feel like giving up and joining, like auditioning for Rock of Ages? Oh God, you know what? I I want to punch. I actually want to punch those people in the nuts. Do you want to punch Tom Cruise in the nuts for being in the movie, dude? Let me tell you something, dude. I will. I will punch Tom Cruise in the fucking nuts, dude, because he's not really heavy metal, dude. He's just acting heavy metal. Like we are fucking heavy metal, dude. I wake up every fucking day and in my spandex. I don't even take them off when I go to bed, unless. That's why you have. That's why your penis is stinky. Unless I'm fucking a bitch. If I fuck a bitch, I have to take them off. Oh, but you, then I'll put them back on. You could just cut a hole in them. That's why I've got a lot of spandex <laughs> with a, a hole, hole cut. in my pants, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you earned those tattoos, didn't you? Oh no, you weren't. I those didn't. Tattoos. I don't have any tattoos because I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of needles. I have a fucking. Are you afraid deep... you might blunt the needle? No. Well, I am ripped. That takes. Oh, That's that. a tattoo. He's lying. That's he has tattoos tattoo. right here and here. They're <laughs> shadows. They're tattoo shadows. Those are re real muscles. You don't do anything to get those. You get them tattooed and you act like you don't have tattoos. Shut and you've up. got this light dusting of chest hair tattooed on as well? Yeah, well, I mean, I trim. I've manscaped, shaved my pubes and stuff, you know, because ladies like that, you know. Nobody wants to go down and floss their teeth on your balls, you know what I mean? The girls don't like that. True, and it looks better in the videos as well. Oh, are you kidding? We did our album cover and shit. We all got greased up with grease, like baby oil and shit, and like flexed and shit. And it, we looked super gay. Like, gay guys love that kind of shit. Like greasy, like we stop messing with my hair. I'm just making you look handsome. <laughs> Do you think that gay guys like guys who look like girls? I thought that was beside the point. No, but guys and g girls, gay guys, like girl, well, girls, guys who look like girls. Let me tell you something. Girls like guys who look like girls, but gay girls guys like, like guys who like girls and like girls and, you're and like boys and like girls. everybody. Always something. I can't. I don't even. I can't believe you even know that song. It's not it's just, metal, dude. Yeah, it's it's, it's made, really not. The woohoo song gets close. Which song? The woohoo. That's kind of close to metal. Song two, Blur. Let's not get into that. That is, that is kind of close to metal. It's close. It's like one of those songs where you go, you start banging your head and you're like, is this, no. is this metal or is Should this alternative? Anyway, yeah. I don't know. If, do I look, am I cool or do I look like a dick right now? Mm -hmm. And then you're just glad that you're in your room by yourself. Mm. It's good to I'm glad that you're not bitter about any of this stuff. Dude, I'm, I'm not bitter. Like, you know, I wish you, people would stop saying that. You, you, know were, I mean? you were coming up in the 80s alongside all these bands like, well, you know, Rob Halford Fight and L.A. Guns and uh -huh. all those sort of bands right. that you were obviously very close with personally. We've heard, we've heard. Uh, you know what, I know a lot of those people that have been in, like I know a guy who was in Rob Halford's band. I've and, heard, uh, yeah. He, Rob Halford is, uh, he's, you know, he's gay. He's a gay man. And he's, uh, 
What does he think of you? Oh, he fucking loves us, dude. Yeah. Because you don't have to be heterosexual or in any sexual orientation to love heavy metal. Mm-mm. And to lo- I mean, Rob's metal, dude. And we're heterosexual, but we love heavy metal too. And I've seen him screw. I mean, like it's a blurry line in heavy metal because sometimes you have sex with, you know, girls that like Lexi had sex with a girl last night that looked very much like a man. Like she had a mustache. And she, she was chicken. Italian, and she was Italian, and you said she did, but she was Italian, and they they naturally can't help that because they're like little gorillas. She could shave. Like, what? She could shave her mustache. Sometimes they don't know. <laughs> sometimes they don't know. That's the weird thing. Like, girl, sometimes you talk to girls with mustaches, and they're like, they just don't know. And it's mustache. tickling you across the <laughs> like, the, the room. Like, like, tell them that you that food here. They breathe. They breathe out, and it's like. You know, like just flickering over mm-hmm. there. It's like, dude, you got a mustache. And you say, dude, because mostly dudes have them, right? Not, not girls. You yeah. say, dude, too. You wonder though, like, if all of them don't know that they have mustaches, because some of them are very well groomed, like the handlebar kind of thing going on. You know, you sometimes got... it's like I think those girls, those bitches, are just showing off mm. that they can grow more facial hair than you. Mm-hmm. What about Jersey Shore? You must be jealous of those bitches. They've got Snooky. beautiful, ta- like the beautiful tans and perfectly sculpted eyebrows. Are you talking about the girls in Jersey Shore? Yeah, no, I'll bet those you- are those. They're no way. I like I like girls that like. Have you heard of that disease like a bulimia? Yeah, it's like girls that like. Well, no, I like like those Jersey Shore. There's a lot of food, obviously there. Oh yeah, because that's true. I'll bet you anything, Snooky has a bigger penis than you. I bet you Snooky's got a Wookiee on her cookie. I bet she does. Snooky, Wookiee cookie. Just today, she, it's now she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I thought when the first time I saw the show. You, oh, <laughs> it looks I like knew that the whole time. I knew she's pregnant the whole time. <laughs> the longest gestation period for well, a human, I right. guess. If you can. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's the thing. Elephants do have gestation periods for like what, 18, 19 years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they long. die before they give birth a lot of the time. Uh, yes, yeah, it's pretty maybe much. She, maybe she, she could be a marsupial. Just, you know. just, just, I take Prilosec for my to digest, digest whatever they, to make anything go through, mm. not burning. It's a good point that you make there. Hey, I read that. Uh, uh, your previous names, Metal Shop, uh, uh, Metal School, Danger right. Kitty. We got sued for a lot of those I've things. heard that they mm-hmm. all got stolen after the fact. Did it, they steal them first? And then you're like, hey, we had that name before. We, th- th- a lot of people stole it. Yeah, it's, they stole it before you no, named we, your we band would be like, We would sign re- you know, agreements with managers and b- bad people that would steal our stuff. And then, and then they would like own stuff. And then we would get fucked out of our name. And then they would put a band together with a bunch of... Dummies and then name the band that and I don't know. There's all kinds of people out there, like uh, you know, th- I my old name. I don't know if you know this, but my original heavy metal name, my birth name, uh, was Bruce Dickinson. And then I got fucked. I signed a contract with somebody in Iron Maiden, and then they stole my. Ma- now the singer from Iron Maiden has the name Bruce Dickinson, and, and also I, that producer that's from why Deep Purple. Right, he had it Blue, first. Blue Oyster Cult. Then, oh, Blue Oyster Blue Cult. Oyster Cult yes. Then it got passed on to Bruce Dickinson. Right, but I had it first. I was, was the original Bruce Dickinson. Name. That was a bitching name. Bruce I like, is a was a great name. name. I was a killer Bruce Dickinson. Mm. I like when you you were a Bruce. Yeah, yeah, I was better as a Bruce. But I, but you know what? The thing is, I'm making the name Satchel. You, as you're as cool owning as it now. I am. I'm owning it. I'm you're not Bruce anymore to me. Hold on. Will you wake up, please? Bruce. Thank you. <laughs> you have a stripper. <laughs> that we brought with us, and she's got to be. When we're done with this, we, she's got to be ready to go. Vagina wet, you know. No, I don't want to bother with foreplay. Check it out. Do you hate that? She's foreplay? on the nod. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty buddy. Looks like a dog penis. You know what's bitching about it? It's the same exact size no, as his penis. It gets no, it doesn't. This is you're, the only reason it looks weird is because there's a price tag right there uh, telling you what it is. And your balls actually look like a mirror too. It's the same exact shape as your penis and balls. Have you um have you been you've been supporting Alter Bridge, which I find odd. Well, as we're a not match. supporting you. We're headlining. We're just going on first, and those guys get a bigger dressing room and more pizza than us. Yeah, oh, get it straight. Yeah, and so they get more pussy. So they're like the after band DJ. The cool they're like, down. kind yeah. of. They're the cool down band, but yeah. they do get. The only reason they get more pussy than us, though, is if like if you add it up by weight. <laughs> we don't. We actually get more girls, but they're skinnier. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Because car bitches do cocaine. Uh, 
Uh, and yes. if they're going to eat any chocolate or cheeseburgers, whatever, we make them throw it up afterwards because I want my bitch to be skinny. Nice. And also, you like when you're kissing them, you like that vomit taste. Oh, you know what? You it's, know they've been having fun when there's a vomit taste in their mouth. That's that's like when you taste vomit in a girl's mouth, you know that she's dedicated to mm-hmm. being thin. Keep being hot. Yeah. And, that, and there's, there's nothing I won't do. If she's going to be dedicated, then, I mean, if I'm going to be dedicated, she better be dedicated. You know? <laughs> There's a lot of things I do to stay this. You wouldn't even be able to taste vomit on a girl's mouth because you throw up your sandwiches yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. But I know my throw up taste different than um, some whore's throw up taste because she might a have horse. sperm. Not a horse. She might have sp- sperm. Well, not a horse, a girl. <laughs> not a horse either, not obviously. No, a horse. No, whore. <laughs> well, he said whore. Horse. He meant two more than one whore. <laughs> whores. Mm. Should say it like more with a Z sound. Whores. Can you do an Australian accent since we're in Australia? Oh. I, I, <clears throat> I think if you try, you can. I'm as you took a tea bit of. Uh, uh, there you I, go. Uh, yeah, uh, a little bit. I did some tea. Imagine if we, uh, we, uh, from, uh, if we were from, you know, down under. Foster's, yeah, Australian for beer. It'd be hard to be fucking getting pussy with this kind of accent. Outback Steakhouse. I'm going to lick your try. vagina. <laughs> Come down under. Crocky. Oh my God. Look, there's she's a kangaroo. Got, she's, a fuck, she's got a koala in her pants. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, I slipped into England a little, a little bit. bit. Sometimes and, because, and it's tough to because you know, right, right after we get come home from here, then we have to go into England. So that's why our accent might take, be a tad bit a little bit going go back only, and forth. And take, only um, accent I can do and fucking just stay with it the whole time. It. You can nail it. Is well, no, the only one I can do is is a uh, like Midwest kind of southern accent. You know, American because I fuck a lot of girls that live in tra- trailer parks. And I hear that kind of shit all the fucking time. You don't even know. You dream man. about it. I can't get rid of it. That fuck. kind of Where fucking girl fucking house, talks like man. that. She spits and our, shit. Our house is fucking gone, man, because it's a trailer. And somebody fucking damn took their fucking truck in my fucking house. That's not fucking. That doesn't even sound southern. That sounds like Keanu Reeves doing a southern accent or some <laughs> shit. What the fuck is that? Bro, hey, bro, man, where's the tasty waves, man? I'm going to fucking go surf with my fucking buddies. This, yeah. re- this reminds me, you you had Billy Ray Cyrus up on stage. Billy Ray Cyrus. Man, fuck <coughs> Billy Ray Cyrus. That he was, sounds just like that. Just fucking shit. like I that. Am, Where the fuck is my house? Hannah Montana, that fucking little bitch is fucking hot. I even now that vagina with it, my penis in and out hard. she fucking got old and shit. Now that she's 17, she's a little too old, but she's Pound still... that vagina. She's sexy as shit. I will fuck, take fuck, her right in the I fuck. I would do that. I don't care if Billy's her dad. I would Knock do the it. fucking wheels right off mm-hmm. her trailer, if you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. You mean you're going to pound a vagina like me? Oh, God. I that's, just, that's just a word association. You heard Pink on stage. You want to go on? Pink. 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 Yeah. Oh, my God. Pink. You know what my favorite... She kind of looks a bit like a dude, actually. You know what? She is manly, but if you're fucking... If you got a really big dick, you can kind of fuck a girl like that and still be... Just as long as your penis is bigger than the girl's clitoris, then it's still cool. But if a girl's got a clitoris that's bigger than your cock, that sucks. Mm. One time he was like... With his girl, and she had a big clitoris, and I, every, he thought that she was just like on steroids or something, but he was like rubbing her clitoris, and Don't, it that was in Tijuana, and that, but, but it we shot were, sperm. We on got it. it was a penis the whole time, disguised as a clitoris. It was just a little pee pee. Are, are you sure it wasn't a, a squirter like uh, Tommy Lee is apparently a big fan of? Tommy Lee loves. Our band, but it's a love hate relationship. I don't know if you've heard about this. Uh, tell them why. Tell because me. when we were on tour with them, guess what happened? Because uh, I did say Tommy Lee to you before, and oh, the death stares. Tom, let me tell you something, dude. Tommy, well, we went on tour with his band, Motley. What was it called? The What's last name. Was Motley Crue. Motley Crue. Mm, I know that. I always forget what the name of his band is. But you know what? We went on tour with Motley Crue and Def Leppard like um, two months ago. So this is a fresh wound. Hang on, Diff is still around? First fucking night of the tour. Would you just calm down for a second? First fucking night of this fucking tour. This is what happened. I'm backstage. And I'm fucking this girl, right? And she's fucking hot. And she has a normal size clitoris, not a big one. And I'm fucking her. And who walks into my backstage area? Tommy fucking Lee, right? And he gets pissed off. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm pounding this girl. You know? Even harder than that. Pounding her. And he's like, fucking, what the fuck? And I'm like, dude, Tommy, what the fuck? And he was like pissed. He runs away and he starts to cry. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. And then the girl tells me that she, that's her boyfriend, Tommy Lee. I'm fucking Tommy Lee's girlfriend. Not cool to do to your buddy on tour, right? So the then, very opening night, we didn't, we didn't even meet them yet. Having and he's done, pounding his girlfriend's vagina with his penis. 
I'm putting my penis in her vagina. And then, so I find Tommy and he's totally pissed and crying and like emotional and shit. I'm like, dude, didn't. He was hiding behind, underneath his roller coaster when we found him. Yes, and you gotta put a, you gotta put a fucking wristband on this girl, so I don't know which one yeah, is your girlfriend. Put your own, dude, you know. You know? And then, you know, I apologized, and he was. It took him a couple days, but then everything we, was fine. Everything was totally fine. Did and, he take her back? Was it like a, a mother bird not taking back? No, the, it was cool. He worked it out, and then we became. We were, everybody was every the bands were. We were sharing dressing rooms. And then he even he was like in our front row, Steel Panther, fucking singing along. Had with a T-shirt. Shit. You gave him a T-shirt. He wore it. Steel Panther T-shirt on. And then, Again, then four nights into it, the last night that he walks in, Lexi is pounding her, pounding her vagina with with his five and a half inch cock. And Tommy sees it again, and then he was he's been pissed gone. off. Gone, and now we can't get it back. He won't return phone calls. We won't, he hasn't worn texts. the shirt. There's, there's n- he took us. He unfollowed us on Twitter. <laughs> Not cool. And we and this sorry. Like, it's like this uncomfortableness between Steel Panther and Motley Crue. And now those guys are doing a residency in Vegas where we go all the time. We fuck we the did that before. All the time we were there for years. And now we're touring. And they're probably fucking our bitches, right? Fucking I don't care, though. I'm not going to be a pansy about I'm it. I'm not crying about it. I'm not hiding underneath a roller Pound coaster. Pound the girl's vagina all you want. I don't care. Fuck her. Fuck them. They're all a bunch of whores. I'm going to anyway. show you fucking other girls now. They're all a bunch of dirty whores. You can fuck any of them all you want. Angry. Angry young man. We're not angry. We're not angry. <laughs> no, I'm not upset. And okay. he's not young. He's like 53 years old, this guy over here. He just looks good. He's had a lot of work done. Classic surgery. Lips. He had the fat taken out from his belly and put into his lips. That's why his lips look all poofy. And the chin? Is that real? Oh, dude, are you kidding me? That's real. There's nothing real on that face. Uh-huh. Right. That's, okay. fu- that's a titanium chin right there. Look at I that thought shit. you might have got a two-for-one deal. space shuttle. Look how good his nose looks, though. Show him your profile and shit. That is a fucking beautiful nose right there. Yeah. I yeah, would nice. fuck your little face if you were a girl. You know, <laughs> Thank you, Shuttle. Shoot a big load all over your face. Thank you. Okay, let's keep it clean. Let's so, talk about music for five seconds before sure. we go. You had Chad Kroger on Balls Out. Fuck yeah, we did, motherfucker. You know why? We're bringing heavy metal back, that's why. We're ha- you know to, what? To Chad Kroger? Listen, dude, <laughs> let me explain something to you people, because I know you're pretty far away from fucking where the center of metal is, which is basically anywhere that fucking Steel Panther plays on a regular basis. So this is our first time down here, so I'm trying to explain some shit to you. Mm-hmm. There's one thing you got to realize. Chad Kroger is about as metal as you can fucking get if you're Canadian, Okay. There's not a whole... Think about the Canadian bands that are fucking metal. You got... I mean, what do you, what do you kind of rock and rolls coming out of there? Atlantis Morissette, Brian Adams, mm. uh, Rush. Okay, Rush was... They attempted it, but they got fucking into seven, eight time and shit. A lot of bass licks and drum chops and shit. I mean, Triumph, come on. I mean, you know, Nickelback is about as metal as it got. That's as I bet much- you not one of those bands has a lick of hairspray on their bass guitars or any of their guitars. There's no hairspray residue on anything, and that's... That, that, those bands are ugly. That's a disappointment, yes. So who you, whose career are you going to resurrect for the next album? I, I heard some rumors about uh, guests on the new album, the next one. Resurrect? Yeah, it's a could. dinosaur, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you're not? You're, you know what? You're just going to do it all yourself this time. You know what? We, I mean, we could, we could probably help some people out. Yeah, Meatloaf? Loaf does need some help. Meatloaf, let me tell you something, dude. Don't he performed the equivalent of uh, your Super Bowl here, and it was a bit of a debacle. He played. He the came AF- over here. He came over here for the AFL Grand Final and performed, and it was a bit of a crisis. Let me tell you something, Meatloaf. Oh, no. I love that guy. He fucking oh, no. sings his ass off and shit, but he's got to watch his cholesterol, or he's gonna fucking die. I sang my ass off one time. Look. Yep. Oh yeah. It's gone. Where did you leave that? I, don't, I just one time I was just singing so hard I sang my ass off. I think it was in Kentucky. No, it was Kansas. It starts with a K where I left my ass. Do you know what they're doing with it now? Mm, I don't know where it is. It's probably some hillbilly fucking some, it. Yeah. Fucking your little ass. On the side of a milk They cart. got hillbillies that love little asses like yours over there. Playing a banjo and fucking your ass in between its fucking banjo licks. Okay, I think we just achieved like the that? most swear words in one interview. Fuck yeah, we did, motherfucker. Just then. Oh, yeah, these are bonuses. There you go. That's for just to put it over the fucking edge. Make sure nobody else steals that fucking record from us. At least I won't get pregnant because you can't get pregnant if you sperm in the ass. Yep. Have you ever had anybody say uh, cunt on this show? Uh, there you go. It's the first yeah. time. Yep. Oh, really? No, no, that was, that, I think it. that might have been the first time. First time? That's about us. All right. I just did it because, you know. It's a horrible word, I know. It's horrible word to say, cunt. 
It's it's a very affectionate term, you know. <laughs> but you can bleep it if you want. And you know what? If you want, you can bleep it if you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> How do you like that? All right, uh, that's put peer pressure still Panther. We're gonna just keep talking to them, but we'll, we'll you know we'll cut off. Oh, now. you would do it. There's, just, there's I know what you guys that. with a camera yeah, over there. Yeah, that's how we got your profile before. Yeah, they've been looking at your nose from the side the whole time. Yeah, we're just gonna use that shot. It's yeah. always your nose. <laughs> By the way, you can hey, you have our permission to syndicate this. Excellent. And put it, you know, make it travel worldwide throughout the airwaves. Sold. <laughs> That's a sound we like to do. You can go back to the gay porn now. <laughs>